Shalom, 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 shalom. First and foremost, giving all praises, glory, and honor unto Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahusha, Ba'ashim, Rechakodesh. Giving double honors to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Shalom and salutation to you, sincere Akims, across the four winds, pushing this truth with sincerity of heart. I'm your fellow servant, because I'm again from a DC camp, coming at you through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahusha, Ba'ashim, Rechakodesh, and feed the elect. Now, in this video, um, of course, the talk of the day is about the Roe Ro v. Wade situation, um, you know, with abortion and uh, how they trying to overturn the ruling of Roe v. Wade, um, basically um, leaving, it, leaving everything up to the states to decide uh, whether to move forward with um, allowing um, abortion, a.k.a., um, the murder of children, so um, murder of unborn babies. Now, as you see right here, man, I have an image. As always, I always like to have images because this is this is one of those things where, first and foremost, I have to state that this is a distraction. All right, you got you got two major distractions that the elites, the Rothschilds, the Rockefeller, all right, the top elite Edomites have decided to unleash uh, over the population. Uh, the first. Universal distraction is the war um, over there in Ukraine. All right. That's the first universal distraction. And then you have the secondary distraction, which is um, Roe v. Wade. And this this particular distraction was made for, uh, you know, the, uh, the inhabitants of the Virgin Daughter of Babylon, a.k.a. the United States of America. Because as you know, um, the attention spans uh, when it comes to Americans is really, really, really low. So they wouldn't really, the war in Ukraine wouldn't be a good enough distraction um, to, to keep the people's minds from focusing on a real issue. Now, what's the real issue? The real issue is that you have an impending collapse, economical collapse, food shortages, and uh, famine, and that's going to hit 2022. By mid-2022, according to the numbers, uh, we got about another five to six months. Um, so we're talking about by the end of summer going into our uh, uh, fall, you know, we should, you know, things should really, um, uh, the, 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 everything should skyrocket from uh, the food prices, the famine, uh, food shortages, you know, all hell should be, should be, according to numbers, all hell should be breaking loose. But if people were aware now, they would make changes. So that's the number one thing that, that everybody should be worried about. But instead, the elites are very good at what they do. So they put out two distractions. The, the war on Ukraine, that's a universal distraction. Um, and then uh, for the Babylonians, the distraction is Roe v. Wade. All right, so, but this video is about, you know, abortion because although it's a distraction, it is a distraction that must be talked about because it's still a very, very um, a major um, sin and a, a major uh, abomination and sin that's been committed. Uh, not only, you know, in America, but amongst the nation of Israel, right? you so-called Negroes, Hispanics and Native Americans. Uh, the women of our nation have been, um, you know, very, have been victim to this uh, to this mindset, to this demonic mindset of um, of uh, baby uh, uh, basically, um, you know, aborting the, uh, uh, the, the unborn children, right? which, according to the Bible, is is. There's no ways around that. It's, it's, it's straight up murder according to the Bible. All right. So now this is one uh, article that I had seen a while back. This is actually something. This lesson for the, through the spirit was actually sitting for I was sitting on it for a minute. And then the world reway thing kicked in. I was like, all right, this is spirit. I got to I got to um, I got to let it fly. So uh, this is an article that I picked up a while back before this thing started to, um, to, to come to the surface. It was um, out of the New York Times, and it says anti-abortion activists say they were allowed to take 115 fetuses. It says a medical waste disposal company denied their account. Denied their account. Most of the fetuses were buried in secret. The activist said, but they kept five that were later removed by the police in Washington D.C. All right, so you gotta, you got people, you got activists, people out there that that understand, you know, the the egregious act that is to um, uh, abort, uh, you know, your unborn child, man. It's an egregious act, um, you know, it's it's killing innocence before it even has a chance to um, you know, 
the it's like killing the uh, 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 a seed, right? Before it has uh you know before it can it can it can turn into a a a a, 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 a tree, man. All right, it's 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 really really egregious. All right, it's death at its highest level, you know, because when life is about to come forth and then you give it you give it death, you know, that's a that's just that's just horrible. All right, I'm gonna read like um maybe uh one or two paragraphs. It says, um, anti-abortion activists claimed on Tuesday. All right, this is back in April 5th. It says anti-abortion activists claimed on Tuesday that five fetuses that were removed from an apartment in, in Washington, D.C. last week had been in a box containing a total of 115 that the driver of a medical waste truck voluntarily allowed them to take from the dolly outside an abortion clinic. All right. And in and, and D.C., as you know, and uh, I'm going to bring the numbers. In D.C., as you know, the majority of abortions committed in, uh, in the state of uh, uh, D.C., the state of Columbia, um, are, are made by um, so-called black women, all right? So-called black women, uh, of course, number two, so-called Hispanic women, and uh, number three is the other races. But the black, the so-called black women is the number one, um, you know, when it comes to abort, aborting children in the state of D.C., um, and that's facts. All right, you can't you can't go around that. All right, and um, and I'm a, I'm a, listen. As a person who's dated uh, for the most part, you know, uh, so-called black women. I mean, I, out of all the women that I've dated, I mean, I could probably say like maybe one or two didn't uh, uh, commit abortion, didn't kill their babies. I think that all the women, all the women that I've dated, have um, either killed their baby. Some of them have killed their babies once or twice. You know, and, and I found that out because, you know, being in, in, in relationships, eventually I'm the type of person I try to get into a, 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 my partner's mind because I don't just, you know, because certain people have certain, uh, 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 they act a certain way. So you kind of need to find out, OK, why are they acting this way? What is the traumatic event? And then come to find out, like I said, it's always been for the most part the same thing. All right. The majority uh, uh, I have, I've either killed their baby once or some of them have done it multiple times and they just ain't right, man. And then they can never really get right. You try to help them, but the, the traumatic experience is devastating and you can see that through their actions. All right. So it says, uh, well, I'm gonna stop right here. I mean, but this is a good uh, article to read. All right. Going back to, uh, New York times is a good, um, article to read, man. And, uh, see at the top, they got Supreme court rule V Wade. So, it, it's, it's this is something that's been in the works. The leak that happened, the elites wanted that leak to the uh, wanted that information to be leaked out, so it could be a, a major distraction from uh, the food shortages and the famine that's around the corner. It's a good move. I'm not even gonna lie. It's a good move because you can't but talk about this because it's egregious. It's demonic. It's evil. It's abominable. You know the the uh, the mass murder of unborn children that's been going on in, in the virgin daughter of Babylon for all these years. So, you know, you got to give it to the elites, man. How do you not talk about something like this? The Lord is going to judge this nation. The Lord is going to judge the majority of, of these women and also the men, because you're not just going to put this on all, all put all of this on the women, because um, some of the women that I dealt with, they were pressured by the men to do it, to get rid of the child. So the man and the woman are both responsible and the blood of that unborn child is going to be in their head, all right? And they're going to, like like Jeremiah said in, uh, in uh, uh, Jeremiah the 16th chapter, they're going to die grievous deaths, all right? So let me go to, um, of course, what's in the news? It's everywhere now, man. It's the major distraction in, in Babylon. It's, 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 you know, Supreme Court. You got out of political. Su Supreme Court has voted to overturn abortion rights. You know, draft opinion shows. Uh, you got the New York Times, Roe v. Wade, and Supreme Court live updates. Um, you know, and they got to concede. The thing is, with uh, the trial with uh, Johnny Depp and Amber Heard was garbage. So the elites didn't really like that card right there. They play that card to trying to get um, American people, right? Of course, and you know, with Israelites included, they try to get us distracted with um, on the court. The uh, Johnny Depp and Amber Heard. And they looked at the ratings. They're like, nah, man, people don't give a damn about that. So they're like, nah, we got to make a better move, a bigger move, something that's going to make people talk, something that is so powerful, so undeniably evil, 
uh, that even the prophets of the Lord are going to have to talk about it. But, you know, it's all a part of, you know, uh, bringing out the judgment of the Lord. So they at least think that they're getting us distracted, but we're not being distracted. We understand what's going on. All right. We understand clearly what's going on, man, through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Al Shah. All right. So as you see, that's it. That's the that's the news of the day. All right. You got people out here protesting. Uh, you got uh, pro, um, you know, uh, abortion, pro, you know, protesters out there and you got anti-abortion protesters out there. So, I mean, at the end of the day, you know, this is the type of nation you're living in, man. This is a nation. I remember Tupac had always had a saying and he said this a couple of times, man. Tupac said America eats its own babies. You know, brothers that 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 do know that that listen to Tupac, you know, he always used to say that America eats its own babies, and it's and it's and it's so classical because you see that happen, and it's been happening for for decades, man, in the form of abortion. All right, not only the takedown of his uh, own celebrities and stuff like that, but you know, from the womb. All right, so now let me go to uh, this particular article that I had pulled up. A while back, uh, this is a policy report out of Congress. This is out of Congress.gov. It says the effects of abortion on the black community. All right, this is out of Congress.gov. The effects of abortion on the black community, which the, the black community really stands for so-called Negroes, uh, uh, West Indians, and um, Haitians, which is Judah, Benjamin, and Levi. All right, but also do not be mistaken because the the, the Latin tribes. The women of the Latin tribes have, I mean, they're close. They're really close. They're just not being uh, reported as much as uh, so-called black women when it comes to uh, baby killing. But I'm telling you, man, those Latin women, I mean, some of the, some of the things you hear about, you know, um, what they do to get rid of the child is, is, is really egregious. And they're also going to be judged. All right. They're going to be judged. You know, they say if the Bible, man, according to the the, the, the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Al they're going to be judged for that. All right. So I'm not going to read this whole article, man. I, this is just something I wanted to bring forth. All right. It's uh, this particular, uh, this is page, what page is this? Uh, all right. Page three out of 23. It says the abortion consumer, right? So it says disproportionately the leading consumer. Of the abortionist service is the African American female. Let me read that again. Disproportionately, the leading consumer of the abortionist service is the African American female. Disproportionately, the leading consumer of the, the abortionist services is the African American female, according to the 2011 abortion sur surveillance report issued. Uh, by the Center of Disease Control, black women make up 14% of the childbearing population, yet ob obtaining 36.2% of reported abortions. Black women have the highest abortion ratio in the country, with 474 abortions per thousand lives birth. Shit, man. Damn. Damn. It says, um... Percentages at these levels illustrate that more than 19 million black babies have been have been aborted since 1973. According to the Departments of Public Health of, of every state that reports abortion by ethnicity, black women disproportionately lead in the numbers. For example, in Mississippi, 79 percent of abortion are obtained by black women in Washington, D.C., more than 60 percent. In Georgia, 59.4%. In Alabama, 58.4%. In states, in state after state, similar numbers have found with black women aborting at two, three, and more times, more time their presence in the population. Damn. It says at every income level, black women have higher abortion rates than whites or Hispanics, except for women below the poverty line, where Hispanics women have slightly higher rates than black women. All right. So that's why I said don't sleep on the Latin women. Don't sleep on the so-called Hispanic women because they are bad. They're, they're equally as bad, especially the poor they are, because they they go out there because the thing about poverty, man, poverty brings about. Uh, 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 a lot of uh, idle time and, and the more idle you are The more you're going to want to engage In the things that are pleasurable to deal with uh, The depression, the distress right? And a lot of times you know, The highest form of pleasure is what? It's sex all right? And a lot of poor people It's always been like that 
poor people just have more sex a lot of time, you know, when they have partners because, you know, that's their way to kind of deal with with with, with, um, with stress and, and depression and all these different things. All right. And, and, and that's why the elites of every nation have always tried to uh, have a population, a system going back to Egypt, a system of population control. Right. To make sure the po- the poor right, do not re- reproduce. All right. That's why, you know, individuals like Bill, uh, Bill Gates. Uh, Margaret Singer, they talked about that. They've, they've actually always talked about making sure that uh, on the poor, the class of the poor, which is usually Israelites, right, do not rep, uh, reproduce, all right? So, I mean, listen, it, it, look, at, look at that chart. Look at that pie chart, man. Planned Parenthood targets minority neighborhoods 79%. So that lets you know that the Planned Parenthood was made for who? It was made for... The so-called Negro, Hispanic, and, Na- and Native American woman. All right? That's what it is. So, and, and then you have the men that engaged, right? The feminist men that engaged into this mindset and, and pushed the women to commit these, these foul acts. Like I said, it's not just the women. It's the men as well. I know a lot. Of, I met a lot of women that were pressured into getting rid of their, 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 um, their unborn child by men. You know what I'm saying? So there's a lot of judgment to be passed around, man. And everybody's going to get it. But when it, when it comes to the black, you're talking, you come to the black queen, like I said, the so-called black queen, your so-called black queen, because I don't have, there's no such thing as a black queen. But just know that there's a lot of situations where you have a lot of brothers, man, that have had, you know, sex and, and intercourse with so-called black women, Israelite women. And they didn't even know because she might have got pregnant and just went out there and terminated the child and didn't even tell them. So some of us have uh, some of us has most likely had women, you know, because we if we engage in and in, in raw intercourse. We most likely had women pregnant and they probably got rid of the baby and never told us just moved on. You know, I mean, it's just it's just how it is. You know, it's a very, very huge. It's a huge problem. You know, um. A mass, mass, uh, a genocide, mass self-genocide that's been going on in our society. It's just that Jake <laughs> having so much. It's just we have so much sex and so, much, and we had the 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 birth rate is so high that even though our women are, are, are killing the children at a high rate, it's we still got you know a good a good amount of uh, uh, Israelites that are being born. You know, so uh, you know. It's wicked, man. But we all know what this goes back to, man. This is all spiritual. As we know, the world is, is fully awakened to the fact that abortion is the ancient sacrifice of um, the ancient uh, uh, human sacrifice of baby sacrifice or child sacrifice to um, the ancient false deity called Molech. All right. That's something we brought up years ago. You know, what I'm saying when everybody, you know, wasn't even aware, the spirit had already revealed to uh, revealed to us the prophets of the Lord what abortion uh, was. It was modern day child sacrifice. But now the whole world is aware that hey, this is a this is a ritual, and there's a demonic force, you know, say that's behind this. Now the whole world knows. <laughs> All right, and it cannot be denied. It cannot be denied. Leviticus 18 and 21, and thou shalt not let any of thy seed. Now, now, this is the Lord speaking to Israel, all right? Because this thing was going on. Israelite men and women were sacrificing their children to Molech, man. When we were in Egypt, that was going on. And when we were getting out of Egypt, the Lord made sure to let all of Israel know, leave that bullshit alone because that's what the heathens do, all right? If you do that, you're going to be punished. You're going to be put to death. Leviticus 18 and 21, and thou shalt not let any of thy seed pass through the fire to Molech. Molech is that statue that I showed earlier. It says, neither shall thou profane the name of thy power. I am the Lord, Yahweh. Thou shalt not lie with mankind as with, man, as with womankind. It is, it is an abomination. All right, that goes into another uh, law. So let's get to, uh, this is Ezekiel chapter 20, verse 30. It says, wherefore, actually, yeah. It says, Wherefore, say unto the house of Israel, that saith the Lord power, are ye polluted after the manner of your fathers, and commit ye whoredom after their abominations? Meaning what? Are we, we, are we polluted just like our forefathers that came out of Egypt? And you better believe it. As, as a matter of a fact, this generation of Israelites, the majority, not the elect, not the 144,000, the one third, this generation 
These, they, these souls are a thousand times worse the Negroes, Hispanics, and Native Americans of 2022 and masses are a thousand times worse than the generation that came out of Egypt. I mean, the generation that came out of Egypt couldn't hold a candle to what the nation of Israel has been, you know, for the, you know, in this land. I mean, it's just, it's awful. It's horrible, man. You know, this is the worst state that we've ever been. It says, Verse 31, it says, for when ye offer your gifts, when ye make your sons to pass through the fire. All right. When you offer your gifts, when you make your sons to pass through the fire. Yeah, you offer your gift during Christmas, which Christmas is a, as a pagan holiday. It ain't got nothing to do with being a Hebrew Israelite. You offering gifts to demonic forces, pseudo gods. And, I, and then when it says, when you make your sons to pass through the fire, you pollute yourselves with all your idols. What what's the main reason why our women um uh, put their sons through the fire, aka abortion? It's because of what? Selfish selfishness, right? Things that they want to do, personal things like career, feminism, right? Going into their career and they don't they feel like that's a burden they don't want to carry. Same thing with the man when he pressures the woman to, to commit an abortion, he in his mind is like, Well, I can't it's certain things I want to accomplish, so that takes precedent over me being a father. All right. So everybody is lost. But at the end of the day, at the end of the day, the women will get the punishment because they will get well, not the women will get the women are going to be punished even more. Why? Because according to Esau's society, he's, he gave him he gave him the green light. So even if the man doesn't want to doesn't want to get uh, the, the child aborted, the woman can say, nah, I'm going to have this baby. And your, your word as a man is null and void. It means nothing. If if you want to keep it, she doesn't want to keep it, you know what's going to happen. The baby's gone. If you don't want her to have it, but she wants to have it, the baby stays. So she gets to let the final stay. Uh, she gets the final say in this, this in this uh, situation. All right. That's why I listen. The majority of the women that you see, I always say, man, you got Jake out here looking for families, trying to build families in, in America with these women. <sighs> these are women of the last days, man. That's why we're not in the times for marriage and building families and all that. Because to build families, you need these women. You need women. And the majority of these women, they're women of the last days. What do I mean? They're women that are they're the worst type of women ever created. They're fit for the last day. That's why they do the craziness that they do. They're not meant for the things that a, man, a real man is, gonna, is looking for. These women are meant to do all this wild stuff, all these abominations. And then be destroyed. Now, the majority of the women in America are met, are were built, created to be destroyed. You know, so you have to make you got to make peace with that as an Israelite man, hopeful elect. You know what I'm saying? And make peace with that and just let the most high do what he gotta do. Alright. Um, so it says, I'm gonna read 31 again. It says Ezekiel 20 verse 31 it says for when you offer your gifts when you make your sons to pass through the fire you pollute yourselves with all your idols even unto this day and shall i be inquired of by you O house of israel as i live saith the lord power i would not be inquired by you yeah so when judgment comes in when the famine comes in you know jake is going to look for ways out and it's not going to be a way out because all those judgment is going to come down in your head man you cannot escape you cannot escape, man. And then I saw this news while you have Amazon, you know, that it, this news was like, yo, if you if you if you can't see what's going on, the forces that be the, the spiritual demon, Satan, man, how he controls everything. Right. Amazon says it says Amazon to Amazon to reimburse U.S. employees who travel for abortions, meaning because they know it's going to come down to state. You know, states deciding where uh, whether uh, abortion is legal or not. That's when it's going to come down to. So all the red states, uh, those states that are known to be Republican uh, led states, they're going to decide to do away with abortion. So and all the blue states are going to welcome abortion. That's what it's going to come down to, because this is about the spirit of uh, separation. This is about the spirit of vitriol and hatred, divide, civil war, civil unrest. All right? That's what it's about. It's about dividing this nation. Which is all according to prophecy. So you're going to have Democrats is going to leave Republican cities. 
women, like with their women to go out here and, and do what they want to do in uh, blue cities. And then you're going to have Repu Republicans that live in blue cities. They're going to leave and go to red cities. So is you're going to have a fine uh, line. And then off of that, the civil war is going to um, is going to erupt. All right. So we really close, man. We really close to this thing. So it's time to close out. And I got some precepts. Now, first, let's get this. Um, pre. Well, actually, let's go. Nope, nope, nope. Deuteronomy. Uh, Deuteronomy 18 and 10. It says, There shall not be found among you anyone that maketh his son or his daughter to pass through the fire, or that useth div uh, divination, or an observer of time, or an intenter, or a witch. All right? So, that's a law, man. And the penalty is death. According to the Bible. All right. So now let's go to uh, which one am I going to hit first? All right. Let's hit this one first. You know, according because you got the Roe v. Wade giving women uh, the power to, to basically uh, terminate their pregnancy, uh, you know, which according to the Bible is um, basically, you know, murder. Now, this is what the Bible says. All right. Because in this, this society clearly is totally different. Because when it comes to the woman's body, what does the Lord say about a woman's body? Because it said, my body, my choice. Is that really what the Most High says? My body, my choice? Do, do, do the Most High believe in that? According to the scripture, absolutely not. This is 1 Corinthians chapter 7, verse 3. It says, let the husband, let the husband render unto the wife due benevolence. And likewise, also the wife unto the husband. Verse 7, the point, the wife has not power of her own body. All right. Let me repeat that. First Corinthians seven and four. The wife has not power of her own body. But the United States of America, the virgin daughter of Babylon, tells you that web. My body, my choice. So you see where the most high stands. You see where America stands. This should be clear to you. All right. It says, but the husband and likewise, also the husband has not power of his own body, but the wife. Right. Because they join in together. All right. They join in. But it starts with the fact that, hey, the woman can't say, hey, I'm going I'm to get rid of your child. Nah, man. Nah. All right. And just like a man said, well, I don't I don't want to please my woman. The scripture said, give her due, due benevolence. You know what I'm saying? You got to women need that. You got to break her back sometimes, man. You know, just just saying, hey, listen, hey, we grown. We're not children. You know what I'm saying? That's a part of of, of the relationship between men and women. All right. So, um. So, Second uh, Corinthians chapter five, verse ten, it says, "For we must all appear before the judgment seat of Amashiach Yahushua, the Son of the Most High, and He's the one who's bringing judgment for all His wickedness." It says, "For we must all appear before the judgment seat of Yahushua Hamashiach, that everyone may receive the things done in his body, according to that he has done, whether it be good or bad." So. You know, Jiggers out here making decisions and they have no idea, man, that they just bring in, they're condemning themselves, man. All right. So and I'm going to close up with this. This is Revelation chapter 17, um, verse three. I'm just, you know, goes into the uh, um, <laughs> America. Right. It says Revelation, Revelation 17 and three. It says, so he carried me away in the spirit into the wilderness, into the wilderness. And I saw a woman sit upon a scarlet colored beast. Full of names of blasphemy, having seven heads and ten horns. That woman is talking about the United States. It says, And the woman was arrayed in purple and scarlet color, and decked with gold and precious stones and pearl, having a golden cup in her hand, full of abominations and filthiness of her fornication. And this is one of the uh, these abominations and filthiness that's being revealed. Although it's being played, this card is being played as a distraction. It's still a major distraction that 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 still needs to be talked about. Still need still need to be uh, put out there, right? So that so that so that um you know this place could be condemned even more because her sins have have reached into heaven. It says verse five, and upon her forehead was na a, a name written, Mystery Babylon the Great, the mother of harlots and abominations of the earth. Uh, and that's what I've been saying, like, cause. Once upon a time, I was also in the mindset of, oh, yeah, you know, hopefully the most I throw me something out here, you know. But then I'm like, hold up. This is the mother of harlots. This land gives birth to harlots. This land was never, this land was never made to bring forth wives. This land was, was created and built 
systematically uh, and socially to create harlots. <laughs> and, uh, and this is what harlots do, you know, these type of activities. So it, it only makes sense. All right? It only makes sense. That's why we got to be patient, continue to do what we got to do, continue to stay faithful. You know what I'm saying? But soon, within the next five or six months, man, we should be saying some real, some real, real nasty stuff. You know, that's going to bring us further and further to our, our deliverance, man, uh, out of this, out of this, um, this, this captivity. So that's all I had. Um, you know, uh, I hope that you uh, brothers and also the sisters that was able to put their feelings to the side with edify. Um, you know, call hello, I'm like, you I'll shout out double honors to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone, shout out one salutation to say, say, I can't the four winds, pushing this truth in the city of heart, because I'm a guy from a DC camp. Shout out one.